Hey, how, how how are you guys? Uh, Arnav here, and uh, talking about something that very funny uh, was happening uh, yesterday. So I put up some tweets and some LinkedIn posts about how uh, I just randomly made some, you know, a um, few thousand dollars on <laughs> uh, GameStop and BlackBerry and Nokia and all of these uh, kind of stocks yesterday. So uh, people were asking a lot of things about you know uh, which uh, stocks to follow and uh, you know. Um, uh, how I'm doing the trades and all of that stuff. So this is not financial advice and I'm not going to tell you uh, which stocks to follow, what to buy, what to sell and all of that stuff. But I'd like to explain what exactly is happening in the US stock market uh, yesterday and day before yesterday, like this week, what uh, was happening. Uh, so uh, to start with, I think the first thing that we'll uh, cover is obviously uh, what shorts are and then what short squeezes are and then just what the, what the fuck is happening right now. So uh, shorts are something that... Uh, people uh, it's uh, a long is a kind of trading that people do a lot you know you buy a stock and you think that you know the value will go up so you buy it for 10 rupees and then you know if, if tomorrow it is 20 rupees you sell it and you make 10 rupees of profit so that's what uh, a long position means a short position is the reverse of it it means that you know you think that the value of a stock is uh, 20 rupees today it's gonna be 10 rupees tomorrow okay how can you profit by knowing that uh, if you buy it for 20 and sell it for 10 you will actually make a loss uh, so how, how can you, you know, uh, profit from that? So for that, people do something, uh, the reverse of it, which is not e easily available to people like us, uh, you know, retail investors, we can't do that. But uh, hedge funds and big traders, what they do is they borrow stocks from somebody else. Okay. And they uh, sell it at 20 today. Okay. So, you know, you just borrow the stocks from somebody say that, you know, I'm going to be borrowing it. I will give these stocks back to you, but I'm going to be selling it for 20 rupees today. And then, uh, Two days later, when the stocks are at 10, they buy that stocks back at 10 and they give it back to whoever they borrowed it from. So they borrow the stocks while it is borrowed, the value falls down. And during that time, they basically sell it at the top, buy it back at the bottom and they make the profit from the reverse side. So this is kind of difficult to do from a normal stock trading app. Like if you use something like, you know, Zero Dha or ICICI Direct or whatever retail app you're using, uh, Grow and all. Uh, these kind of apps, it's not easy to do that. Uh, you will have to, you know, uh, do it using futures and options uh, kind of things. Anyway, not getting into that. But uh, the question is, what is a short squeeze and what's happening right now is that there were some big hedge funds like Melvin Capital. Melvin Capital is a huge hedge fund. They invest billions of dollars uh, in, on behalf of other people. And there are other funds like Citroen and Citadel and you know, uh, Capital 72, a lot of them. So what uh, these uh, funds thought where there are some businesses which after the pandemic, uh, those businesses don't make sense uh, to keep running, you know. So for example, AMC is a movie theater. So theaters people are not going to because the pandemic. GameStop is a place where people go to buy game DVDs. People are not doing that anymore. People are buying digital. So they thought that, you know, these companies, they will uh, reduce in value and people will uh, not uh, go to these businesses anymore and these businesses will f in future shut down. So they had short positions on these companies. Basically, they had borrowed shares of these companies and sold them at a high price and they were waiting for the shares of these companies to fall down so that they can buy it back and make a lot of profit. The thing is, uh, sometimes the short positions uh, are hidden. Sometimes if you uh, access uh, uh, financial data from something like Bloomberg, you can discover that, okay, this guy has a short position on this particular stock. So people on a Reddit group called Wall Street Bets, uh, r slash Wall Street Bets, it's a subreddit they figured out that these hedge funds uh, are shorting this company. There was a lot of, you know, mixed emotions. Some people obviously wanted to make money. Some people already wanted to make profit. Some people wanted to, you know, fuck the hedge funds because they are like, you know, the hedge funds make a lot of money. People in suits and ties, they make a lot of money and you no know, common men, we are not making any money. Some people were like, you know, GameStop, uh, you know, right from our childhood, we have been uh, going to GameStop and buy DVDs. We won't let these investors shut down GameStop. So we will save GameStop. Mix of these reasons, group of people came together and they were like, we will uh, just, you know, keep on buying GameStop uh, shares so that the shares go up. Okay. Uh, if it keeps going up and uh, the, you know, period of uh, borrowing for, uh, you know, Melvin uh, runs out, they can't, uh, you know, the shares don't fall uh, during the time they have borrowed. So they have borrowed it for five days or they have to borrow it for a fixed period. They can't borrow it infinitely, right? So they have borrowed it for a fixed period and uh, they have already sold it for let's say $10, they have already sold it. They are waiting for the share to go down to $5, but now it has not gone down to $5. They can't buy it at five. The shares are now at 20, right? 
So now they have to buy it at 20 and sell it back to whoever it was. They have to bear that loss of uh, $10. The thing is that people are trying to keep on buying it so that the price goes above 20, 30, 40 and like that it keeps going up. And I think now it's above 100. That's the uh, price of the stock now. And Melvin has to buy it at those prices. So Melvin made a loss of, I think, $3 billion. Other hedge funds have, uh, you know, have basically uh, put funds into Melvin to save it. Basically, they have bought portions of Melvin. So Melvin is getting sold out, right? And at this rate of this short squeeze, so this is called a short squeeze. Somebody was trying to short, but then other people have squeezed them into buying it later at a higher value. So their short has turned into a long buy force, uh, right? And uh, they are making a loss on it. And... Uh, you know, these uh, other funds, they are basically kind of being able to buy out Melvin for cheap because Melvin has no cash to, you know, uh, so if, if Melvin is not able to return those borrowed stocks, then Melvin will have to file for bankruptcy and a hedge fund will go away. Like the hedge fund will go uh, down into the dust. Uh, by the way, uh, right now, these people on Reddit, they are saying that, you know, that retail investors, like common people like you and me, we are making money while the hedge funds are losing money. Do uh, understand that, by the way, a lot of common people's uh, money in the banks and a lot of common people's money in their pension funds uh, and a lot of common people's money in mutual funds that are stored, they also in turn invest into hedge funds. So by the way, if hedge funds go down, then you might <laughs> you might lose your, uh, you know, the return on your pension fund or your mutual fund can go down. Those kind of things can also happen. Anyway, so right now it's a very exciting situation. And what's happening right now, the entire picture is that these people on Reddit, they are identifying those companies which make the worst of business sense, which are going down like airlines, restaurants, movie theaters, uh, Nokia, Blackberry, old companies, which, you know, don't make any sense. Their business is very, very bad. And all these institutional investors, the hedge funds, they were thinking, they were thinking that, you know, these businesses are going to shut down because uh, they make no sense. They are just going down and down and down. And, and uh, there are other competitors who are bring, getting them out of the business. So uh, they were already betting on these companies to shut down. They were betting on these stocks to fall. Now, people on Wall Street bets are doing something irrational, unprecedented and something that nobody has ever thought before. They are picking up businesses which make the worst of sense shares that nobody would recommend to buy they are buying them and they're raising the prices and what they're calling it rocket to the moon so rocket to the moon is a term that you know uh, people in the meme world and people followers of uh, elon musk and tesla shares they use so it means like you know getting the price of the shares as much up as possible so they are taking the worst business so like you know apple is making a lot of profit amazon is making a lot of profit microsoft is making a profit but fuck it we will take a business which is making losses which you will take a business which is gonna shut down and because all these institutional investors are thinking that this business will shut down, we will go and buy it. <laughs> and all us, all of us together, like, you know, 50,000 people, 100,000 people, everybody together is going to be buying it. So when they buy it, the share price will go up and these hedge funds will make huge losses. So, you know, fuck the hedge funds. That's the first agenda. The second thing is that a lot of people will make money also. So shares which are at, you know, $5, $10 prices, they are going up to $100, $200 prices. So you can, you know, make a lot of money in doing this uh, as well. So that's the kind of situation right now. Uh, it, it is something I have never seen happen in the market before. And there have been short squeezes in the market before, but they were planned in a very different way. And if you have seen the movie, The Big Shot, then you know what all I'm talking about. Uh, you know, a lot of movies on financial markets have come up. But this is pretty unprecedented that a public group of people, uh, not a hedge fund, not a, you know, secret group of people, public group of people discussing very publicly and buying stocks of companies which make no sense like like companies which are really bad at business companies which are about to shut down people are buying those stocks making the shares go up and these companies like GameStop and amc they can actually issue new shares and uh you know actually make money and turn their businesses profitable today so like game stock they can actually uh, sell some of their own shares today which is at 100x 200x their valuation of uh you know a few uh few weeks back few days back and they can actually make money so in turn we are able to save these businesses uh make a lot of money for you know retail investors who invest via apps and you know fuck with hedge funds who make uh, billions of money uh while while you know uh small companies get shut down so that's the that's the message that's what's going on and as a result of that uh like the u.s stock market has been working in 
ways that nobody had ever thought it would uh, you know uh, in in the past so so that's the situation uh, kind of right now <laughs> uh, and 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 if you are interested follow wall street bets on reddit and you know follow these uh, stock symbols like gme bb which is blackberry nok which is nokia uh, triple uh, triple by which is uh, uh, bed uh, um, bed blanket something um, Uh, which is like a bedding shop so th- that's these are all companies which were doing bad in business and and everybody is trying to buy them to you know uh, take them up so okay guys game stonks 